everybody and welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you hidden inputs. But before I get started out, I want to do a shout out to Mr. Redstone a second time. I watched a video of his uh, this morning and he gave me a second shout out. So I want to say thank you and give him a shout out. Hopefully this doesn't just keep going on forever. Well, I kind of hope it does. But anyway, let's get started on the video. So last time... We built a TNT missile, and I would show you an example, except we blew it up. Uh, you can see a little bit of TNT back there, and our target, but that's pretty much it. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Um, I suppose we should go to the explanation, to the explanation section, where I take very complicated redstone contraptions and try to dumb them down to the average Joe's level. So basically, I just talk about them. They're pretty simple already. Alright, so the first one we got up here is one of my favorites, honestly. It uses a hopper minecart on a detector rail. It has to be a detector rail. If you don't know how to craft a detector rail in survival mode, don't worry, you're not alone. I have absolutely no idea either. Anyway, um, when it, only when it's on a detector rail, a comparator can take an output out of it. So, I have enough items inside here to make, um, or to make the signal strength 1. If I add one more item, it's going to make a signal strength 2, which will activate the piston, which normally you just put a repeater here, not facing like that. Like that, so that, um, when it, uh, when the signal gets there, it will be boosted and go through the contraption. So, the next one up. I wanted to make one that when you till, it will activate the device. So, if I grab myself a hoe, right here, it should give me just enough time to till that, go through the door, kind of the other side. Sorry about the lag, but the blocks were actually pulled back. Alright. So, also, if it, there isn't enough time, you could always just run into this, which is a pulse extender. So, let me show this off. It will slowly start fading down. It's really cool. Alright. And over here is the final input. And of course, this is just a hidden input, so the whole point is just to be hidden. If you tap this middle block and grab the of the chest, you'll see that the um, signal is on. And actually, this one is super simple. I'll actually have I'll actually show this at the end of the tutorial section, which is welcome to the now. tutorial section. First, we're gonna build this guy. Um, yes. So first, uh, I should probably prove that this works. I didn't show it like I did the other ones. If you drop that there, see, it works. Alright, so now let's go build it. So, I guess I'll get the supplies with you. You're going to need iron blocks, redstone dust, redstone torches for the key. You're going to need a detector rail, a minecart with hopper, a, uh, a comparator. Um, you, by the way, these don't need to be iron blocks, just a building block. Um, and then you'll want something to activate, like a redstone repeater or something. I'm going to keep the hoe around, actually. So, let's get started. So, first, it's going to take... The actual detector itself only takes five a 1x5 strip. Because you do that, you... Alright, so you place a block and put a detector rail on top. Then you're going to place another block on top of the detector rail and place your hopper minecart underneath. Then you're going to build out three blocks in any direction, it doesn't matter, and you're going to come back here and place a comparator so that the wider end is on the hopper minecart. Now out the front of the comparator you're going to place two redstone dust and then as I said something to like boost the signal it's there don't worry. There we go. Had to update it for some reason. 
and then just as I said place that and that will prove that it's on you could also place like a piston so you have a clear visual indicator but anyway now inside you're gonna wanna put 22 items I believe well I saw 21 18 22 now you check it's obviously got a single strength of one you're gonna spread that out and try to make it so that there's only one in the first slot there and now you're gonna come up here I built it out wider so you can so I could prove that I wasn't dropping it onto the hopper minecart um, and now we're going to come here as you can see that repeater is off and we should be able to drop it and see it turn on yep okay so that is your clear indicator that you built this correctly on to the next one alright I am now ready to build the second design the one with the tilling dirt block so for supplies here you're going to need Iron blocks, resin dust. Also, sorry about the darker screen. It's in low power mode. I'm not sure if it's actually visible on the video. Hopefully not, but it might be so. Anyway, you're going to need iron blocks, redstone dust. You're going to need redstone torch, an observer block, repeaters, um, which I had. I don't know why I got some more. Um, and then you're going to want, like, your clear output thingy. So I'm going to use, uh, a sticky piston. Yeah, sorry. And then you're going to want some dirt. And you're going to need a hoe. I'm going to do a diamond hoe just because it's fancy. Alright. So, yeah, we can build it right here, I think. So first you're going to want to dig a hole in your ground. One deep. And place your torch. And then you're going to place dirt on top of it. Now back here, you're going to want to place a sticky piston and a dirt block. Alright, so what you want to happen is when it's solid, you're just going to have uh, this signal come out. And then you're going to want to invert it so that when you till this, it activates and that's how you break it. That's what this is back here for. So you're going to want to place a repeater on four ticks. I'm going to observe an observer block like that. So it's observing this updating. And you're gonna, then you're going to want to place a repeater set to four ticks, a block, another block, place redstone dust on top, and then run them back into here on four ticks there and that should be the whole design so you're gonna do this and after a little while it'll push changing this and it will do a second pulse so if like you're being chased it might not be a good option because it might give itself away um but it's not a big deal because it doesn't do anything this is just to like show what it would look like next to more dirt oh and nothing happens if you till that one too so if they miss it by one block, then they won't do it, and then it won't work. But let's say you wanted, for some reason, to make it so that you could till like two or three different t um, different blocks. Well, you're gonna want to place redstone dust back there as well. Also, a torch. Oh wait, no, sorry, never mind. I don't think it's possible not at least not with this design I thought about how it works and yeah it's it's not gonna be possible because let's say you tried what I was gonna show you um, and add like a second system here when you when you hold that block it won't turn off this signal because there will still be another block now you could use that multiple redstone torch trick and make it so you have to till like two or three blocks in order to make the system run, which would be really secure. Uh, now all you'd have to do is, like, place a sticky piston there and then run, run redstone on top, I think. Maybe. Actually, I don't know about that. Uh, but, you know, if you can figure it out, then that's cool. Uh, 
So, yeah, before I totally mess up this clip and have to retake it, on to the final section. When I said section, I meant, um, uh, build, obviously. So what you're going to need is, um, an iron block, a redstone block, oh, any block, actually. It's just for building, as I said before. You're going to need a trapped chest, yes, here, a piston, and redstone dust. And then, you know, preferably you want lava or something to cover it up, something you can click through, or tap through anyway. And, now I think about it, I don't even need iron blocks. Here's literally the entire design. Piston, redstone block, redstone dust there, trap chest on top. When you open the trap chest, it will activate the redstone. Now, there would, there would be ways to make it so that this is like a sticky piston or whatever. All you'd have to do is put the pulse extender I showed before. Oops, sorry. Um, and that would keep the sticky piston pushing the redstone block long enough for the door or something to stay open. Long, long enough for you to get through. <coughs> sorry. Um, and that would allow you to, uh, with, that would allow it to reset and you'd use this multiple times, but... So if you want to do that, that'd be cool. Uh, give me a second, I might actually try to right, back. And I think I may have designed something, I'm gonna set this to four ticks and try it. It extends. After a while, it'll pull back, yeah. And if you want to keep it going even longer, you can place even more comparators. Just make sure the block is placed on the one that's pointing into it. And so that should keep it open with plenty of time to get through your door. So there. So, um, I'm just gonna go, sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to build this because it's so quick and simple and it shouldn't push my video over 15 minutes. So, you're gonna place a block with the trapped chest and then you're going to run out a signal strength of four or not signal strength of four sorry um, a redstone repeater set to four ticks and you're going to want to put the redstone like that and a block on top of this dust then place two comparators a block redstone dust two more comparators a sticky piston, a redstone block, and then over here, one block away from the redstone block, place your output line. And, yep, there you go. So, <laughs> sorry for this really weird, confusing episode today, but uh, I'm actually going to upload this one, so thanks for watching. Bye.